hello and welcome to my channel i am naira from phantom production and today i want to do a quick tutorial for you guys i just want to show you how to record a clean audio file let's get to fs studio so i can show you so i'm using fs studio for this but you can use any door a door of your choice okay you just need to understand just the simple principles okay now first of all let's set our audio settings in fs studio if you want to if you want to set your microphone you go to options and you go to audio settings okay in audio settings now you can go and select the type of driver you're using you can use studio asio you can use asio for all or use the type of or uh, the your sound card that you have the driver will appear there in my case here you will see i'm using focus right okay so but i will not use focus right because the microphone that i've plugged to do this stuff is uh it's a usb microphone and is the in this USB, I have two options. I can use the ASIO for all, or I use Studio ASIO. So let's use Studio ASIO for this. But when I do record, I prefer ASIO for all. Okay? But let's use Studio ASIO. You can go to your Studio ASIO, you go to the input, you set your microphone. So in my own case, you see here is Samsung's CO1 U microphone. That's it. When you're done with your settings, the input, you come here to this inset, you select so if you look here in this metal section here you can see the microphone is active so this is the signal we are getting now so i've just put my recording levels here so that so i wouldn't clip and but if you see now it's a little low so you need to be careful when you are setting your recording first thing you need to know when you want to how to get a clean signal is to first is for you to make sure you want to record record in a quiet environment so but if your environment is not quiet what you need to do is just to bring down bring down the gain knob in your audio interface then you go closer to your microphone so this will help that the, the mic will not be sensitive it will reduce the sensitivity of the microphone to allow the microphone to not be that sensitive so it will not be able to pick out background uh, sounds okay now when you do that when you reduce your your sensitivity of your microphone now this will really help you, it will really help your recording because when you're too far from the microphone, you will have a lot of uh, echoes or maybe reverb into your recording. So when you are too close, you may saturate. But if the sensitivity is low and when you are close, you will not saturate. And also remember, when you are too close to the microphone, the, the signal become boomy, okay? Become fat and have that radio sound to it. First thing you want to do to have a clean signal is to take care of the noise floor of your microphone. There are some microphones that really have really low noise floor and there are others that have a very high degree of self noise. This is as a result of uh, maybe electronic uh, cables or everything that is just going on in the system. You can get noise from your system because the system, the system has its own noise that it generates and also normally every this microphone have noise self noise to them now another form is if you really increase the the gain knob in your audio interface you'll be increasing the noise floor too so what do i mean by noise floor if i'm to be quiet let me just be quiet and increase the gain in the lens surface a little bit so you can hear the the noise just put on your headphones to hear the noise now if you listen now you'll hear the noise let me just keep quiet so you can hear the noise So if you look here, audio is still getting into our recording. That's the noise, self noise from the microphone, okay? So this white noise, first thing you need to do is to get rid of it. So now I'll bring down the uh, preamp gain here a little bit. I'll bring it down. So notice when I brought it down, you will see now that the noise flow is really low. Let's, let's look here in this meta and stay quiet and listen. So there's still noise getting into our door but it's very minimal so in some cases i can just record like that without having issue with that i just record okay because the noise is really low so when you want to have all these settings going on make sure your audio the highest peak of or the lowest peak of your audio should have to have a really let it have a variation with your noise floor so when you are adding compression and other stuff in your production uh, the noise floor will not be noticeable okay so when I look here, I'm hitting about, I'm hitting in between 15 and 18 in my high peak, okay? So after this, what you need to do is make sure don't record too low, 
okay don't record too low don't record too high because if you record too high you will clip now if you clip it will be difficult for you to fix that because clipping is simply distortion which you don't want now i think even if i'm to scream hey so if i scream you see i'm hitting in between 6 and 9 db here which is still good after you're done setting your 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 levels it's time for you to get rid of the little amount of noise that is here so to do that you can just look for a denoiser or you get a, a gate or an expander so in this case i want us to use this free denoise sa plugin here okay it's a free denoiser plugin and it's called Bertum denoiser i will just push up the threshold so you can see it's already denoising reducing the noise uh, if you listen now the noise is it has suppressed the noise a little bit again now the noise is really very minimal so uh, if you listen now you hear the difference let's just be observing so you make sure you be careful so you wouldn't chop the signal by the way I'm demonstrating and I'm very far away from the microphone but in your case you need to go closer to the microphone most of the time I don't usually like the microphone to be in front of me because I want to be seen clearly that's why I just kept the microphone aside like this so let's listen for the noise if we can hear anything so the noise is really minimal now I don't I don't even hear anything so when you are done setting your denoiser the next thing we can do is to look for an EQ so what we'll do is a high pass filter in this case we just want to get rid of some low rumbles so you just get rid of the low but don't do it too much so just notice how i'm doing it now my vocal becomes so thin so at times you go so thin like this then you return back gradually and hear where it sounds better see i'm okay so why i'm going back gradually the vocal is getting body so i can just leave it around 70 this is because I'm really far away from the microphone, okay? So the next thing we want to do is maybe we'll just sit quiet and listen if we can hear any room resonance. So what we'll do, we can just grab a band and sweep around to listen. I want to get rid of some honky sound. So right now around, let's just be going. So I want to do both surgical EQ. So you see, listen now, you'll hear how honky becomes around this frequency so if i go to 500 normally 500 is always honky most mic that i've tried i've tested and a lot of time 500 here is really honky in between uh, let's say 350 right up to 500 is always honky okay it sound like old sound which we don't really like in our in our stuff so we just bring it down maybe 5 db or 7 what i'm doing here is surgical eq so i can grab another band and while i'm speaking i'm listening to see any other resonance where i can just take it out now if we listen what we want to control now is s's we'll be using free stuff i will use this uh we'll use this tdn aaron nova you can just go to this band here and what you do we will change the the frequency band to bell to so have something like this kind of curve okay we we'll activate the compression section so it's kind of dynamic you that want to do here so what we'll do after that you can just go here okay the attack for we can leave it at default we we'll take it up to maybe four to one then the next thing we'll do is uh, bring down the threshold then we narrow the queue then you sweep around the frequency to see where those S's are really present, you do something like S, S, in between 8 to right up to 9k, that is where the, those S's are really present. S, S. While I'm speaking, it will be dynamically compressing those S's. Watch the meta now, how I speak, you can see how the vocal is not consistent, it moves through and through, okay? No one speaks in a static manner or no one sings static. So what we we'll do to control that is to add a compressor. So to set that, you can just go here, click the compression section, then 
put down the threshold so this other knob will be active so then you can set your your ratio maybe you leave it at two and a half to one ratio like that softly add it a little bit and now you just work on your threshold so let's step, bring down the threshold so bring down the threshold where i'm speaking whenever i want to get loud you see this blue line here indicates the, the level so whenever i scream and let's say i scream i'm to get louder it will be tamed okay let's go down again so we'll be see, so we'll be seeing some compression happening so let me get closer to the microphone so you see the compression happening okay so while i'm speaking you will still see compression happening so if i do compress the vocal too much i will make up for the gain if i wish you can just add maybe one db or two db of gain here so my recording will be loud enough but not quite that much so uh, that's a simple chain you can do to get your clean vocal if you want to go further you can still go further okay so if you have a microphone that really have a lot of self noise what you can do is to get a denoiser like this one it's free and suppress the noise a bit or you use an expander now you can use your eq carefully look for resonance room resonance and get rid of them the next thing you can use any dsi that you have to denoise to dehesse your s's so it shouldn't be painful whenever you are recording okay then you get a compressor to keep your vocals in check especially your dynamics to keep those dynamics in check you can tune how you want your vocal to sound with another eq but mind you you wouldn't want to do something which when you are done with you may want to get rid of some stuff that you added that's why you need to do simple stuff that will not be noticeable but all you want is the clarity so that's all so guys i am naira from phantom production and if you're new to the channel please subscribe and also hit the notification bell so whenever i upload content you wouldn't get to miss out thanks and see you in the next tutorial